Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video here for Sede Gensuki Season 2, Episode 5. Last episode, Lisa Lot got attacked at the very end by a big old dragon where they just reversed the shot from the OP, which I did actually realize afterwards they did in fact do that. It is a legitimately something they did. Um, we will see where this episode goes though, as I would imagine now um, that Rio took Celia to go uh, give the letter to her father. We are going to end up running into Lisa Lot. Uh, as the ending suggests, running into Lisa Lot and Flora and seeing how that's going to play out in this season. But yeah, we'll see how this is going to go. They had a flying ship too, which is like so fucking cool. Did not, know the, did not know those were a thing in this world. But yeah, we'll see how it goes in this episode. Per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime past, anime current manga past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions. So feel free to check out either of those of your own mill. Without further, now without further ado, let's hop straight into Sede Gensuki Season 2, Episode 5. Who's that CGI dragon? Yeah, they had the emergency land. The enchanted airship? Oh, so is Flora on that ship? Uh, I take it that's how we're gonna end up running into them because Flora and Lisa Lot are on either ship. Uh, I wonder how Flora's gonna react to Rio. She hasn't seen him in forever. She doesn't even know if Bro is alive at this point. Uh, mm, shit. We got some fight going on this episode. Uh, oh god. More CGI enemies. They're coming in droves. Hello. Why ever are you all here? Yep. And this is exactly where Rio and the gang are. Yep. Uh, she go to her spirit form. Uh, oh no, she wanted food. There's <laughs> lovely ladies attendance. It's that man's treats. Who is that guy, huh? Oh, he worked to ready the ship for the hero. I see. It's exactly why Rio is here, is to find information on uh, Michan's and uh, Michan and the other two's uh, friends that they got transported with. You guys are asking a lot of questions to this one poor dude. The dragons are that powerful? Wow. Oh my god, the dragons are that scary? Holy shit. The governor of that city. Mm. That's crazy to find out. I, she's not just the, uh, oh, like, uh, big person in this merchant guild. No, she is also um, the governor of the land. That's crazy. I wonder if she has both her memories from being in this world and the other world like Rio, or if she is a Latifa situation where Latifa completely overtook the original person and doesn't have memories of who that person is. <laughs> yep, <laughs> there you go. Of course he wants to go too. Because he fucking likes her. We're in no position to give orders to him. It's crazy how much power Hiroaki has. He just got here and they just... Because then she thinks she would, he, she would owe him something. Uh, 
My personal sense of aesthetics. Or to act completely independently. Situation goes bad, that's when you should count on me the most. Just <laughs> trying to grandstand so much. Uh, yep, there's that sword. Uh, yeah, he named it Yamata no Oroch. <laughs> of course, that's what he fucking named it. And Lisa Lot knows exactly why he named it that. Uh, but little does Hiroaki know, she is also a reincarnated. Well, she is a reincarnated, unlike him who was just brought here. Ooh. Hello, Alphonse, and whatever Hubert, I think his name was, the fucking loser himself. Uh, see, I gained a little bit, I, I, I teensy, teensy bit of respect for Alphonse earlier on in season one towards the back half that we last saw him, but Hubert is just a piece of trash through and through, especially after how he treated Latifa. Are you a governess? Okay. There's a lot of people going with you guys. What happened to your family? Alright, time to set out. I'm waiting for these CGI enemies to show up, baby. Oh, we got all the CGI soldiers and horses walking around there. <sighs> Just not very good with words, yeah. It's very interesting how kind of like introverted and quiet she's become because I feel like early on uh, after Rio first saved her she was very talkative and then it kind of after that and after all the incidents with uh, Rio where he kept getting framed for stuff and she could never get in and apologize to him and whatnot or thank him for saving her and all that uh, she got very quiet over time especially with all the stuff going on with her family and whatnot and Oh god. Yep. These are just basic monsters though, so we should be totally fine. Whoa! Just locked their asses in there. Was that, yeah, that was Alphonse and Hubert there, I think. Incalculable number of monsters? Is this because of the dragon? Oh boy. This looks like it's gonna be fun! It's a good question. Oh god. Even the soldiers are CGI. Whoa, they're hurling rocks at us. Yeah, thank you guys for doing something. We were getting pelted with rocks for a while there. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. Is Rio gonna swoop in and save him? That has to be where this is going. Because they found out where they were headed. Oh, your berries and commence attacking individually. Alright. <sighs> God damn! I will say, the CGI on those knights is rough. Uh, the CGI on the, um, the creatures... What did he call them? How have I already... I... I Forgot their names last episode, too. Whatever the hell he called Revenants, I think he called them. Uh, they... The CGI for them was pretty good. These look... The knights especially look kind of rough. Nice. Nice. The head hunting princess. You can see the soldier back there in the fighting. Back there in the fighting. I know English. I know English. Photo bullet. Uh, 
Love when they say that. Mm. The enchant physical ability, baby. Let's go. Oh, hello, ambassador. Uh, why are you doing this? Is it because he needs to take out Lisa a lot? Is that why he's doing this? Uh, that he might have been the one to put the dragon out there too. That's entirely possible. Uh, maybe this is where Rio and him officially start clashing because he, I believe he mentioned... He might, I think he was talking with Charles in an earlier... Charles, I don't know why I'm call it, say, pronouncing it like that. Charles in an earlier episode, and he was saying, like, Lisa Lot might need to be dealt with before she gets too big. And so maybe that's what he's doing right now. There are weaknesses to exploit. Yeah, you guys kind of locked the hero in here. <laughs> using this method yeah using this method being like oh i'm so scared i need to hold hands with you to help her feel less scared <laughs> so he's trying to deal with her Oh my god, how very reassuring my ass. <laughs> Interesting, so they seem to be like a thing. Uh, I wonder if he's trying to do this to like make Lisa a lot jealous or something. I don't know, maybe that's his thought process. Because he seems fully infatuated with her, even if he does did admit that the other two are attractive in his eyes. He is infatuated with her. And she, Flora, seems to have zero interest in Hiroaki like that. She's too timid to have anything like that in the first place. Lisa Lot's obviously not. She's just more trying to navigate the situation because he's also Japanese. And then Re Renoa here seems to be into him. So, good for her, I guess. Hiroaki doesn't seem like an objectively bad dude. Oh, the light's going out. Uh, I've hit my limit. Now they three should stay in here. You can go out there and fight. Why are you dragging her out there with you? He takes such looking after. Yeah, you should have shouldn't have brought Renoa out there with you. She should have stayed in here with these three. You go out there and fight by yourself. That's not protecting her by dragging her ass out there. Yeah, it's a lot of monsters. <laughs> Hiroki getting in his first fight and he's actually terrified after all that grandstanding. Uh, seems that the moment their teamwork is holding. <coughs> you guys still haven't acknowledged what the hell fell on top of your, uh, fell on top of your carriage. Well, you would probably be super useful if you weren't just cowering back here with her. Looks to be on hard mode like this. Uh, it's like one of those stressful turn of events that always happens dude you better get your shit together brother or real's gonna have to swoop in and save the day i really don't think lisa law should have come out here because the ambassador is seemingly trying to take her out I love it. I, I'm still. Uh, I I know his name at this point. I'm pretty sure it's Ray. I just keep calling him the ambassador. Just that's what I've been calling him all series. All right. The things that I can do too. He did that on purpose. So he did that to draw her away. Oh God, he's dropping down himself. Holy shit. She is a fucking beast. But he did that on purpose to get her away. <laughs> this one person can handle so much. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's the same Minotaur. One, well, uh, it's not the same one because Ryo killed that one. But it's another one of that type of monster. Oh, is it? The no, because Ryo killed that one, I thought. And this thing she said, is that the one from back then? Hmm. I swear to God, there's, I don't believe I'm misremembering this. This was a while ago now that I watched episode three, but I swear to God, Ryo killed it. 
He chopped off its head. I raged during the Divine Demon War. Fuck it, I'm going to see if I'm right on this shit. Hang on. Yeah, he cut off its head. Okay, I wouldn't be in stupid. So this is a different one, but the way she said it, it's, it's a legendary monster that raids during the Divine Demon War. I guess she means like this monster in particular, there was many of it that raged during the war. This is just one of them. Cause Riho very easily killed the other one. Whoa, another one dropped in. Hiroki, this is you, brother. This is you, dude. You're supposed to kill this fucking thing. Damn, and they not gonna let her go to save her. It's crazy. We've spent like this almost this entire episode away from Rio. Oh my God. Zeke, is that you? For the horses! I heard them neigh as they got tossed. The fucking horses! Is Rio gonna show up and save her again? Holy shit. Yep, in comes Rio again. Holy shit. Arm chopped off in an instant. Okay, that was the smoothest shit of all time. What? <laughs> that was so fucking cool. Again. In the exact same way, too, that he chopped off that arm before. This... Does she, she doesn't recognize him because of the hair, but she feels like this situation has happened before, some deja vu. Oh, damn, we even got CGI Rio this time. Ah, uh, I'm Haruto. Can't, definitely can't tell him you're Rio. It's, uh, he's finally actually using this sword too. He, uh, he, he didn't use it, he hasn't used it at all since he got it. Oh, the shot from the OP there. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> Whisked brother away into the air. Don't! Oh, it came right out of the shadows to attack again. Oh my god, he just flash stepped on his ass. <laughs> That's fucking sick. That's so cool. Yeah, the CGI soldiers, yeah! <laughs> The ambassador is not going to continue dropping enemies on them with with Rio here. Definitely not. You also cannot say that you're Rio. This is one of the motherfuckers who sold you out right here. This is one of the motherfuckers who made you leave the country. Who to, who made you take the fall for Flora? That's one of the motherfuckers who did that. You recognize immediately who that is. Interesting. He has not seen Flora in four ever. But she is the first girl he ever met in this world. He saved her. And then she never got a chance over and over and over again. She never got a chance to thank him. You should also recognize Lisa a lot. Then again, he only did meet her once for a very short period of time. But uh, he did meet her. Although at that time, she also was not posing as Lisa a lot. She was posing as just a typical worker. Good episode. Uh, oh yeah, we got to see the, we got to see the little manga panel here at the end. Roar, <laughs> we just started waving. <laughs> Good episode. This show's awesome. Uh, once again, I mean, the animation of this show has, I like, I feel like I remember, cause I'm watching this a day late. I remember some people in the discord commenting on the animation being kind of down this episode. I've never been into this show for its animation. Its animation has never been its strong suit. So that's not really gonna bother me. The CGI was definitely rougher this episode. It still is not something that's gonna completely deter me from the show at all. Cause once again, the animation CG, whatever it is, is not what draws me to this series in the first place. Uh, and that shot of Rio taking out that Minotaur was crazy. Um, yeah, overall a great episode. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see the kind of reconnections here. Rio's definitely not gonna tell them who he is. He's definitely not telling uh, while the guy who sold him out is right there. Although technically Rio doesn't know that he was sold out by that guy uh, to protect Hubert. But Hubert is also here. So Hubert and Alphonse are also here. So a lot of old characters from the beginning of season one who I literally call it. I said at the end of the season one arc when Rio had to go and leave, I was like, they're obviously eventually going to come back. We didn't spend these first three episodes with these characters for them to never come back again. But yeah, we will see how everything plays out next episode.
Yes, sir. You haven't seen each other in forever. She recognizes the way that he took it down. The fact that she recognizes him with completely different hair color is crazy. Hey, different hair color, he's way older. It's been years upon years. Mm, he's going by Haruto, obviously. Oh, the, the subtitle? Hello? The subtitle is just completely incorrect. Uh, that subtitle is just completely and utterly incorrect. Uh, he, de uh, he definitely can't say that he's Rio, obviously, because if he said that he was Rio, this guy right here, um, uh, Lord Gustav, would recognize him immediately as the person they literally exiled and made a criminal. But I think Flora recognizes who he is. <laughs> Have I committed some discourtesy? Mm. Damn it, he has to act like he doesn't know her. Are you a noble from some other land? Uh, technically, yes. <laughs> Te technically, the answer to that question is yes. Traveling from place to place, training and sword work. Hmm. I don't trust Gustav at all, bro. <laughs> this dude in Huber got him sent out of the fucking country in the beginning. I still remember that. I haven't forgotten that shit. If only Rio could tell Flora who he is. I'm sure she'll figure it out. I can't imagine they're gonna keep it that way. Oh, they're putting school outfits on? Uh, okay. Oh, that's right. The most recent time uh, that he went with Miharu and Celia, the most recent time he went, she helped out. And I was the one who looked after him there. Yeah, good thing that she's here with us so we could um, can make that connection. <laughs> Yeah, and your your ass was over there hiding for dear life. Uh, yes. <laughs> I like how this dude's not an asshole. I like how they continue to make it so like he's just kind of dumb. He's just kind of a dummy, but he's not actually a bad guy or an asshole. I had talked about this earlier on when we first met him. I was like, I hope he stays that way. And it seems like he is. He has no... And like, then again, he is being treated like he's God himself in this world. So maybe if he was treated differently, he'd be different. But right now, he just seems kind of like a lighthearted dummy. That I must admit I feel nervous. And he was normally because of some sort of hero ability. She keeps looking at him. She really, really wants to... <laughs> she really... She cannot shake the feeling that he is Rio. She just knows from the way he took down the Minotaur because that's twice she's been saved by the same thing. She just... She can't shake the feeling that you're not Rio. I think I'm all right... Wait, what? I think I'm all right with Miss Ruana, but Princess Flora... No, this girl has been wanting to thank you for so long, dude. Please give her a chance. Just met one of Galark's most influential nobles. And to think she is also reincarnated from the exact same bus that you crashed in. If only you knew. <laughs> well, he's gonna do it anyway. So he's heard of her. This forest will be in a month. Or maybe did. Celia knew her. Okay. Ah! I bet you she'd be relieved to hear that Celia is okay. For the Arya serves the daughter of the Duke of House of Caridia. Yeah. Mm, that's when the Minotaur showed up. So I take it Ryo gave Celia to um, Aisha and then they got the hell out of there while he fought. Mm. 
Brother's gotta go in. You gotta go in to help. What the hell? He just completely chopped off the top of it. I control the wind with that blade. Ancient artifact class at that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all talking about him? The only one he's friendly with? Uh, this poor girl barely even knows him. <laughs> You're such a late bloomer. That's crazy. Mm. So it's just missing a top now. It's back in working condition. It is just completely missing its top. Fruit water. Colset. Marley's shocked. Uh, is that not her name? Wait, what? Mm. <laughs> she very demure. Oh, is it because her she acted totally different? Is that why? <laughs> yeah, okay, it's because she acted completely different in front of him. God damn, that is a big sword in the road now. Are you gonna actually do something? Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Okay, maybe don't just throw it in the air. What if that hits somebody? All right, well, that's just... Well, hey, he's actually pretty strong. He was just kind of scared earlier. An incredible amount of magical energy. <laughs> yeah, don't be a jerk. Don't be an asshole, man. Come on. Just had to go one up Rio real quick. Where's the carriage that's missing a top? Where's it at? Yeah, they shoved him in there with him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice now, brother. You're coming with. <laughs> Gustav being all being all nice and whatnot. If only he knew who that was. Then again, the way Gustav didn't send him out. From everything I remember, I don't think he sent him out out of malice. I think it was more political. Like politically, they had to. He had to be a scapegoat or something like that. I don't even think he necessarily wanted to do that to him. I could be misremembering that scene, but I think it was something like that. But he still did it. Yeah. Oh god, here we go. Now he's getting now, now he's going getting all jealous and whatnot. And you seem to possess none. Now you're making me mad at you, man. I was I was vouching for you earlier because I liked you. Come on. I don't think I don't think Lisa Law likes him very much. <laughs> oh, it's interesting to come and follow a, a path that it, that doesn't have Rio involved at all. Rio's not here right now. That our teacher is good at teaching. That is actually an interesting. Th no, because I think yeah no because whenever uh, Latifa got here, she was able to speak the language. So I think that was kind of just input into her brain whenever she got reincarnated into whoever Latifa was before. Yeah, at least they're getting along with everybody. He can keep up with the beast. He can keep up the. He can keep up the beast children. It's supposed to be he can keep up with. So much fun he can't help himself. Sensei Latifa teaching everybody and as we learned Miharu uh, has a bunch has a uh, We won't learn from Aisha that Miharu has a ton of latent magical uh, energy mm. Is it just talent? Hmm. <laughs> they play in house there. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Ah, she playing the mom here. Uh.
Oh, well, so she seems to... She used to see... She seemingly used to go out with him all the time. God, I can't speak. Damn, this is the first we're kind of seeing of that backstory there. How long were you just staring out into space? It looks like it's gotten to the afternoon. <laughs> hey, how long were you staring there reminiscing? I wonder if they saw you and got freaked out. <laughs> oh God. Um, we don't really like to think about that time because <laughs> they fucking <laughs> attacked and chained up the Rio. It wasn't really you, it was that other girl that went off the rails. You guys were trying to, you guys were trying to genuinely have a conversation with him and whatnot. And the other girl, the older girl, I forget her name because she hasn't been in the show for a while, but the older girl went off the fucking rails and attacked him. Um, we kind of attacked him. This is a good way to recap some of the stuff that happened here. Sariso so saying something in his sleep. Didn't he say Michan? If I'm not remember. Oh my god, he did save me, John. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's really only a couple things that could mean, guys. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, holy shit, that's huge. That is a giant fish, dude. Oh god, he let it loose. We're gonna see Michan and Aki kind of thinking about what was said there. Uh, Caught all three of you showing up to my room at once. Mm. Do before you came here? Uh, we just traveled about? I mean... There's a lot to cover. There's a lot of ground to cover there. But he saved her. It's probably pretty... It's probably like a, a bit of a shock moment there because Latifa is also reincarnated and they know that. So they know that she was now reincarnated into slavery, which is crazy. It's just that now that they're getting uh, an even stronger suspicion that this Haruto might just, just, just might be the Haruto they used to know. I mean, him screaming out Michan in his sleep can really only mean one thing when they were already kind of thinking that he resembles the Haruto they know a little too much. That's how I feel now. Mm. Someone I loved betrayed me. Mm. Like I'm getting frustrated because I'm not good at spirit arts. Yeah, you've just been overwhelmed as hell. I don't really blame her at all. There is just so much happening. Yeah. All of this friendship here they're building. <laughs> Listening might be the only thing I'm able to do. Damn, they really does feel like they slowed down the pace a thousand times compared to season one. Even if I didn't feel 
Like, I, apparently from what people have said, they, they sped through like five light novels in season one, which is insane. But the show somehow made it feel not, not like it was super fast paced. But comparatively speaking to this season, this season feels way slower. In a good way. They're gonna throw like a party for her or something? Uh, what do they want to talk about to Michan about the previous night? Mm. Mm. Are they cooking for her or something? Mm. Ah, yep, they're in the school fits too. Mm. <laughs> you should have seen me wearing that. Man. Yeah, just. Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> just the, the diss there. Aww. Is that like her favorite or something? Yeah. Well, you were out practicing this morning. <laughs> Listen. No offense to any pie lovers, but I do not. There's not been a single pie that I've ever had that I really liked all that much. I'm just saying. I prefer any. Like any sweets. A dessert over pie. Maybe, like I said, maybe I just haven't had the right pie, but... There's just none that have really ever been good. Yeah, there you go. Aki's fit her. <laughs> that the end of the episode? Oh, shit. The hell? Imperial Capital Nidgard. Who are you? This evil looking dude? Oh. And you're itching for a war. That's the guy who killed Ryo's mom, right? He's in the OP too. I've sent him a goodwill ambassador. Lucius was his name, right? Mm. Ah, hello, Mr. Ambassador Man. Speak of the Goodwill Ambassador, and he appears. So yeah, he's from this kingdom. My plan into action at long last. And a Minotaur possesses it no challenge at all. Is he talking about Rio? Is it, is it finally time for Rio and the Ambassador to clash head to head for like the first time in this entire series? The Ambassador's just been kind of watching Rio as time has passed. But is it time for him to actually like clash head to head with him? Uh, He's been watching him, and the ambassador's off been doing his own thing, and we've been kind of side by side following what they've been doing. Hmm. Abduct an important person. Why? <laughs> this poor girl. Oh my god. This poor girl cannot catch a break. This absolute poor girl literally cannot catch a break. She totally knows it's him, too. She totally knows it's him. But this poor girl, this poor girl cannot catch a fucking break. Oh, my God. All the time she's been she uh, on screen, she's nearly getting killed or is abducted or is one of the above. <laughs> anyway, that was a good episode. Much more slowed down one once again, but it seems like we're building towards some big conflict here at the end. Guys, you, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Lucius is the one who killed Rio's mom. I'm pretty certain. Makes sense why Flora is in the ED like she's a big part of the season because they're trying to abduct her because this girl can never catch a fucking break ever. They never go for her sister ever, only her. <laughs> then again, her sister's pretty skilled. So I guess it'd be a more difficult target. And yeah, I take it if I would have to, if I had to imagine, I would imagine this arc is going to take to the rest of the season. That's just how it feels to me, at least. I would imagine this is going to take like rest of the season arc, arc type stuff here. That was a very good episode. Let's see what the manga strip here is at the end. <laughs> good episode. That was a really, really good episode once again. Well, like I said, a slower one, but they're setting up for this upcoming arc, which I think is going to be crazy. Uh, it looks like it's going to be crazy. So we'll see how this is going to end up going. But I don't really got too much else to say to you, so I think it's going to wrap it up in reaction to Sanagin Suki Season 2, Episodes 5 and 6. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.